what exactly is the marriage contract? And I'm like, I'm guessing it's not something that holds up in a court of law. It's something that you've created probably just for your, your clients. Right. Yeah, it's something unique, a concept that I had developed. And, and what it does is essentially help the party, it helps the parties identify what's caused the breakdown in their marriage. And I usually work with them individually to figure that out and there's usually at least one thing on each side and then we we figure out what they would need in order to fix that for themselves then we get back together and we propose that to the other party so you know for as an example he says she spends too much money and I'm constantly having to work all this overtime to pay the bills and I'm just sick of having to work this much I don't get to spend any time with my family I, I know what the opposite end is but go ahead <laughs> so <laughs> I we can see it coming we go to her and we say look you know he just feels like you're spending too much money this this isn't anything against you but what can we do to fix this how can we make him feel better about this and so say we we come up with a budget that he's comfortable with and she agrees not to go beyond that and this may not be frivolous spending this could be buying clothes for the kids and you know fancy bottles of wine to have at dinner and whatnot this doesn't mean she's out buying Louis Vuitton bags but um, that would be an example of, of something that we would do with a couple that has since that that issue has since spiraled out of control and led to them fighting and not spending time together, not having date night, but they don't even realize that's where it's stemming from. Yeah. And so we kind of get to the root of the problem, we identify that, we do the same thing for whatever her issue is, then we create a contract between the two of them, and it's their rights and responsibilities to each other as they've defined them during this mediation process with me. And then we sign this contract, and it's a very formal contract, I notarize the contract, and all of this is being done in conjunction with the divorce paperwork or the legal separation paperwork. We're just not filing the final papers with the court. And only if they violate the terms of this marriage contract or at the end of whatever time period we put on the contract, three months, six months, um, one of them comes back and says, you know, we did everything in here and I just, it's still not working for me. I still want to move forward with the divorce or legal separation then I file all of the paperwork. Got it. So what's unique is that they don't, if they, the contract doesn't work, then they don't come back and have to start the divorce process or the legal side. It's already done. But they also have this huge like consequence hanging at the end of this marriage contract for violating it. It's right. a big deal. If they violate it, they're going to be divorced or they're going to be legally separated. And it's strange how that has a heavier impact um, on getting them to adhere to the terms. Rarely do the clients who, who are candidates for the marriage contract violate the contract. Mm -hmm.